Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. Today is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday morning to you. I hope that your morning is going well. My morning is going. I'm up and moving. It's a little bit later. It's more towards, it's like 8.15 right now. So I slept in a little bit. I'm trying to make sure that I um, take the time, you know, grieving. It's a process. It's a process and it might take a long time. It might take a short time. Everybody is different. Um, I know for myself, it's easy to, you know, it's very easy when I stay stuck over here in depressive mode, thinking about things, you know, and then you can also, for, you know, just ignore everything and just go on happily and not deal with things or deal with them in a different way. And so I feel like I'm like somewhere in between here. So, cause I know like yesterday I was gone and it was like the first time out shopping and it was different. It's like, I feel like I'm in a fog and, um, it's just different. It's different. It's a different feeling and just... Like you're just walking through the emotions of life without, isn't that weird? I mean, I'm sure most of you that are going through similar, some kind of circumstances, you understand. It's like you just feel like in a fog and you're just walking through and it's like you're not completely all like there. <laughs> Does that, I'm not really here, people. No, I'm just kidding. Does that make sense? It's just like you're just, you're numb to things. And so... Um, I, yesterday I felt like a little bit of that clarity and I'm like, okay, it's going to be good. But today I'm still feeling like, okay, it's just, I'm going to just do what I have to do today and enjoy my family today. So that's where I'm at. So today is going to be, um, went shopping yesterday. So like today I feel like my, I threw all my veggies and fruit in the refrigerator randomly, or actually I had the kids put in there. So it's just all put in there and I'm like, I should get it out and organize it today, but I'm not going to. And that's okay. I did. Um, last night I started making desserts. So today we're going to go spend some time with Lauren and little grandbaby. So I'm excited for that. So, um, be good. Hey, babies, babies are wonderful. He's not really a baby, he's a toddler. So, but just spend some time, go to the park and just enjoy sunshine, sunshine and running little legs that just go. <laughs> so we're going to do that this afternoon. So that'll be good. So my goal today, um, I started last night. I started, we we're going to do, we do Lauren's, myself and Madeline's birthday is all like within a three day time through 10th, 13th and 14th. So we're all like right there together. And so we planned on doing our birthdays. I don't remember if it was last week or the week before, but we obviously weren't here. And so um, we canceled this past week. No, cause we just got home. I'm thinking, see my time frame is all, it's a blur. But I said, let's work on this week. So that's what we're doing this week. So we are, um, she's gonna do dinner. Um, we kind of talked about what we're gonna do. We went up through different options. And then we said, you know what, we, uh, chili. We're gonna do like a chili bar. And that will be good. So we're gonna do, she's doing the dinner and then I'm going to do the dessert. So um, Lauren wanted chocolate eclair dessert. So I'm gonna make that this morning. Madeline originally wanted angel food cake with strawberry. So I was like, okay, I've got that. Well, then she changed her mind to strawberry pretzel dessert, which is a winner. So then that's why I went shopping earlier. And then I thought, well, since I have that, I have all those apples. So why don't I make the apple pie pretzel dessert because there's a ton of it and it's delicious. So I did that, and then my choice, which I, it's a weird choice, was the loft house cookies. I don't know why. I don't, it's, it's not, I don't, I don't know. I don't feel like dirt desserts are like, I don't crave like, oh, that is my absolute favorite. There are things that are my favorite. I love tiramisu. There's a lot of tiramisu, misu, however you want to say it. But they're, um, these I know the kids like, and this will be something just, you know, cookies. Cookies are easy for kids as well. And so I thought, well, I'll get these. I wanted the lavender ones, but I settled for unicorn. So, but we have plenty of desserts because we have a huge pan of strawberry, huge pan of apple, and we're going to have the, um, What's the, I can't even think, the Claire dessert. And then we'll have cookies. So lots of desserts to pass around for, you know, not that many people, but it'll be good. We'll have some for extras. So that is my goal today. Like, that is all I have to do. I have to kind of, the house, it's doing good staying picked up. There's a few things to do. But um, last night I started making the desserts because I thought I can't do those today because I got to set up. So I, I'm going to show you that in a minute. I did those last night and then I just threw all, the dishwasher was empty. So I threw everything. I didn't even wash dishes. I threw it in the dishwasher. So everything that I mixed with the, you know, all the tools are in the dishwasher. I'm like, I'm not washing dishes. So that's good. So I just have to go through and kind of pick up today. I won't show you any of that. Very small. I don't have much planned. I'm like, my goal is to do desserts and that's it. We have, we made jambalaya freezer meal yesterday. So we had that for lunch and then we did pizzas from Sam's Club for dinner, which was really good. 
today we're gonna do, there is bread, they can do sandwiches, or we can do leftover jambalaya. And then breakfast, I was like, they were gonna make a bunch of stuff, but I'm like, you know what? Let's do Cheerios. We have milk, and we have Cheerios, and we have fruit. So that's gonna be breakfast today, and that is okay with me. That is okay with me. And so, um, and then I have to worry about dinner. So tomorrow, I will clean all my stuff. Get all that situated, you know, get all get some salad out, all that good stuff, and make some food, <laughs> which will be which will be good. So I'm just I'm just not there today and I'm okay with that. It is quite alright. I opened up the kale salad last night. I had that and I'm like that was good, but you know, you just gotta do what you can do and what you are you like look at yourself and say, what is it like for myself to do all that today? Yeah, I could do it. I could get all those vegetables done today and fruit, put them all nice and clean, get them all done, and make desserts and clean my house and do all that. But you know what? I know for myself, it's like taking the time right now is important. So I'm gonna just make my desserts and call it good. And then um, pick up the little bit I gotta pick up, maybe throw in a load of laundry for the day, and then focus on leaving. <laughs> focus on leaving, leaving my house, because we're gonna go and I, it's just gonna be a beautiful day today. So I said, let's let's do park. Let's do park and just hang out. Let you know, little grandbaby run and just have fun and just um, enjoy kids play and just good good to do that so that is my goal today i'm relaxing i'm taking time you know you're still getting a video doing stuff but not not my entire day i'm just sharing what i'm doing so take that time take that time for yourself take that time to enjoy family take that time to have quiet allow yourself time to grieve you know many times and it's so random grief is a random thing is that it just like all of a sudden you'll think about something you just want to tear up and it's like Wow, it, 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 weird. I was just sitting out this morning having my coffee and looking, at, just sitting out there and my wind chimes were blowing and I just thought of my wind chimes, thought of my mom. And so just random, random how it, it comes and, and goes. So it's going to be a good day. So I am going to go here and start making my dessert. Let me show you everything I did yesterday because I was up making everything. Last night I got, we got back in the park and I'm like, I got to make dessert. And I did real quick. Let me show you what I did. So for my strawberry pretzel dessert, I was I, did, I should have got two bags because I'm gonna do strawberry pretzel and I'm gonna do an apple one because I have a lot of apples and the, the apple pretzel dessert tastes really good too. So I'm just gonna kind of stretch this as best I can. I think I can do it. So I'm going to use an entire bag of 16 ounce bag of pretzels and then it's one cup of butter for the 16 ounce bag, but you only use three quarter bag. I didn't even, I don't know what I was thinking when I was shopping, I did not buy more butter sticks. I just bought that tub of butter. So I'm gonna have to scoop out some of this tub of butter here and then have like roughly a cup and a quarter of butter. I'll just throw everything into the food processor. It makes the process so much easier than melting it, stirring it all together, just stick it all in there, grinds it all perfectly. And I'm gonna divide it among two pans because I'm making two different desserts. And then you throw in the oven, you let it bake for about 10 minutes. It smells delicious, tastes delicious. So that whole bag, I was able to make just a thin layer of crust. If you use three quarters of the bag like you're supposed to, it will just make a thicker crust. Either way, it works. We've done this in individual glasses, which works really nice too. Having like small individual desserts, we've done it in the um, little muffin tins before. So lots of different ways you can do it. I just got disposable, I pick up disposable pans at the dollar store tonight because I thought about what do I, I was going to just bake it in my 9 by 13 pans and then I was like, you know what, I don't, I might leave this at Lauren's house so she can have some and just easier to transport. Okay, while that's cooking, you can mix up your next layer, which is two packages of cream cheese, or one package of cream cheese, a cup of sugar, and an 8 ounce co-op. I'm doubling mine, so that's why there's more in here. All right, now what you're gonna do to this is add one eight ounce container of Cool Whip. So, so, you know, since I'm not like in my normal element right now, like I'm forgetting a whole lot of things, cause you know, that's my life right now. <laughs> I forgot I need 
Cool Whip for the chocolate eclair dessert. So I purchased some whipped topping way beforehand, had it in the freezer. Well, then I pulled it out and I said the kids could eat it with their hot cocoa. This is before I got that spray stuff. So I opened up the fridge and there was like a third of it in there. So I'm going to just scoop out enough so that there's still an eight ounce package for the um, eclair dessert. And then I'll just put the rest in here. I could probably spray one of those. I don't know how it would work. The um, cans that I bought, but I feel like I don't think I'm gonna need the full 16 ounces for the mixed middle layer. You just do what you can do. That's just, that's just how life is going right now. That's okay. Okay, we're gonna mix up the Jello as well right now because that's gonna sit in the refrigerator for a little bit because it's gonna be warm. So I'm just gonna mix up. It's um, it's I'm making an apple one and a strawberry one for so for one. It's three packages of regular Jello, so I have a family size and a small one. So this Jello is gonna be made for one of the pans, and then the other pan will make that apple one. So since I'm kind of in a hurry, I put my Jello. Well, not I'm in a hurry. It's just that it's late at night and I want to get this done. So I took the Jello and put it in the freezer and set my timer for 45 minutes, so that way I can go back and make sure it's not frozen. You don't want to freeze; it'll ruin the Jello. But if I can uh, keep a watchful eye, that would be good. So my things are somewhat—they're like warm to the touch. So good enough for me. I'm going to just spread this mixture on here, put it back in the refrigerator. This is about the fastest dessert making I feel like I've ever made. So strawberries, I'm gonna just slice these up and put them on top. I've got one box here. I'm gonna make it fit in here and then I'll work on my other topping. Okay, for my $8, I think, were they $8 for strawberries? I feel like they were. They're not that good of strawberries, but you know, it is February, so I cannot complain about strawberries, but definitely better than uh, some things. So I'm gonna put that on top of these here to slice as best I can, cut off the yucky stuff, and then I will just put them into the fridge or let it kind of, you know, get cold, and then um, I'll pour the jello on top when it sets up for a little bit. Because if I pour right now, it's just gonna soak right through with the pretzels and make it all yucky, so this is gonna work. So then I decided to do an apple pie pretzel dessert. So what I'm going to do is make a mixture for my apple pie. So I'm going to put all, I doubled my liquid mixture and my apples are frozen. So I, there's going to be water. So I'm going to add a little bit of extra cornstarch to mine because, and sugar, because it is going to be, you know, a little bit more because I'm adding way more. I think the original recipe is like for four apples. I've literally got, you know, a bunch of apples in this bag. So it, but I like mine apple -y. I like mine more apple -y than saucy. So I'm good with that. Okay, the difference between me and directions today is that I just poured all this together and I'm going to thicken it at one time. <laughs> Which the recipe says to, you know, make this, this sugar syrup first, let that come to a boil, then add the apples and let it thicken. I'm just throwing it all together. That's okay. And guess what? It's going to work just fine. Let's just see. Let's see if it does. I think it's going to. Okay, thank goodness I didn't need all my sugar. I was totally down to like, I just have like a cup or two left. So I'm definitely going to have to do a whole pantry restock here you know, in the next few weeks, but we're just gonna get enough to get by today that works. And then we'll have enough some veggies for the week and we got enough meals to make, so that'll be really good. But I'm definitely gonna have to plan a huge shopping trip here sooner than later. So we're just gonna keep letting this come to a boil. Okay, this is taking a little bit longer to boil. Can you tell I added an entire another bag of apple diced, iced apples in here. I know, I know. What am I doing, Amy? Crazy. Well, I was thinking, I, I mean, this dessert is delicious, don't get me wrong, but I really like the apple pie taste, like more, and then just a little bit of the pretzels and a little bit of the, you know, whip, like the cream cheese and whipped topping. So I thought, why don't I have this really, like just large part of it? So that's what I did. So there is a bunch in here. I added a little bit more sugar and a little bit more cinnamon, but not more cornstarch. So I think that just letting this get thick is gonna work. The kids are like, oh, Mom, I think your apple pie filling's a little full. 
I'm like, oh yeah, it is. <laughs> Perfect, this is great, nice and thick. It's gonna be a great topping. Now I gotta let it cool a little bit. Since it's a big deep bowl, I'm gonna divide it up into smaller ones because I don't wanna be up here all night and I want it to cool quickly. Okay, then I'm just gonna put the toppings on here. Jello was a little bit set, so I just poured it in. Just poured in slow, it'll be good. And then, um, then the apple pie one, it's a little bit warm, but I feel like it's good. So I, there's a lot of apple there, but that's good. I feel like I'm glad I added that extra bag, bag in there. So it'll be very apple -y. So these are delicious. Put them in the refrigerator, let them set up, and they're gonna be so good for tomorrow. Okay, and these desserts turned out perfect. Like the apple pie before, my um, I'd always follow the recipe, which you should, and then I'd add my apples, which were real, um, they were frozen, so they had water, so it wouldn't be as thick. This is like, like, like it is thick. Like there is no, there is no jiggling with the apple pie. <laughs> so I am thankful for this. So I have, I'm just thinking I have these, but I don't know if I want these on top, because I feel like that's a big lid. Um, I'll put these big giant plastic ones on, I guess. We'll just do it like this. I got the, I went to the dollar store last night because I was thinking, I'm like, what am I going to put these in? And then also for our trip, the kids were having um, SpaghettiOs and a ravioli. Well, I had a couple of disposable bowls, but I think I only had two. So I'm like, I'm going to need one more. So I went to our local Dollar General. And so I just bought some plastic bowls that were good in the microwave because we're just gonna throw them away. And then I bought these and I thought they were a dollar and I'm like, oh, I'll just get those. They had a pack of five for five dollars and I'm like, oh, I'll just get these, they're done. Well, these were like three fifty a piece and I'm so I ended up paying ten dollars for containers. I'm like, like it's okay. It's done and over with, so it's good. So this one I'm gonna make the um, graham cracker one. I'm gonna get that going. I'm gonna put these back in the refrigerator. Let me show you what they look like. They look like this. And then we will transport these over today and then uh, be good. Okay, so for this dessert, what I'm gonna do, I had to laugh. Didn't I say yesterday? I did. In my video, I was like, the kids opened my other Cool Whip up. We're using it. I mean, I opened it for them, it wasn't them. And then I realized I needed it. So I took out some Cool Whip last night. I walked downstairs and the kids were drinking hot chocolate and I'm like, oh gosh, did you put Cool Whip in your hot chocolate? And they're like, yeah, we saw a little bit in there, so we used it up. I'm like, no, I just bought you Squeezy Kid. I totally forgot to tell them. So the part that I saved did not get a lot in here, so I am going to definitely use this. I just had to laugh. I was like, it's all good. So I'm going to squeeze some of this in there and, uh, you know, utilize what I have. That's I just had to laugh. I was like, mm, it's good. It's good. Sorry, Lauren. Your siblings ate your Cool Whip for your graham cracker, so... The original recipe for this is French vanilla pudding, but I don't, I think we're not trying to find everything anymore because, you know, there's never anything available. I just got vanilla pudding. So a box of vanilla is four cups. Is it only three? Oh, it is only three cups. Why did I have two small? Oh, that's interesting. It is only three cups of milk. Isn't that interesting? I always thought it was like one box was two. Hold on a second. That's interesting. Was the okay, is the family size always a little bit less? I always thought the family size was two boxes of pudding, like the small ones. The smaller ones are 3.2 ounces. It's only 5.1. Are they getting smaller, or is that the truth? And I just always made it wrong. I don't know. Anyways, okay. Well, I'm glad I looked because that's so funny. Oh well. Anyways, so three cups. So it's three. It, it's just it's just three cups. So I'm gonna add three cups of milk here. The lactose milk tastes like regular milk, so it's a good thing to use. And update, Jensen had the provolone cheese yesterday, and I think he did good. As far as I know, he had it on his pizza, and he said it was good, and his stomach didn't get upset. So I said, well, that's good. I said, well, we'll try another day. Not today, because we're going to be going out. I said, but when we're home, we'll try it again and see how it does. So that was a winner. So if we can just... Find, so whoever, I know, m multiple, multiple people, I screenshot it when you guys give me suggestions for harder aged cheeses to help him. And uh, yeah, so that's awesome. I'm excited if it was, we'll see. Obviously we're not gonna indulge, be crazy, have a bunch of cheese filled fondue day, but if he can handle cheese, regular cheese, a whole lot better than having to buy the, you know, the fake stuff. So, okay, let's mix this up. And then I'm gonna add the little tiny remainder that I have and some more.
Okay, a lot different putting these into a tinfoil container. They just don't want to fit perfectly <laughs> like a glass one. So break them apart as best you can. Put them on the bottom. They're all going to smoosh together, so it's good. Okay, they just don't make ground crackers like they used to. They used to break really easily. These did not, but it's good. When you layer things, especially for desserts like this, so like the one side, I you know put the, the graham crackers perfectly across and the other side was kind of pieced together. So then when you layer the next layer, do opposite so that you know at least everybody gets a good solid piece of stuff. And this will all turn to mush. The graham crackers will be mushy, soft, so it's gonna be okay. But you know, for the initial, that's what you do. Desserts take a little bit of time to freeze. So what I'm gonna do is take this, put it in the microwave. You want it kind of pourable. So just make sure you get all the tin foil off. Stick it in your microwave for 30 seconds and then you're gonna pour it over top of your dessert. I'm gonna put them back in the freezer because I'm trying to get this like cold real quick because we'll be gone in a few hours. You can freeze it, which is really good. And it makes like, a, and then when it thaws, it's like soft. So either way, or put it in the refrigerator overnight. Either way, I tend to like ours more smushy versus crispy. So it's all about the amount of time you let it sit, it absorbs it and gets you know softer versus the harder. So put this in the microwave. All right, so I am done today. I was inside and like, I was just waiting. I was just kind of killing time and checking comments and you know, I'm way behind in comments. I'm not behind. I'm just not gonna respond to a lot just because um, focusing on other things. I always like to heart everybody's comments. I always like to respond if I can. Um, it's just, just a different time right now. So I'm just going through reading some and then um, you know, deleting them off my timeline so I don't see them. But again, if you have a question I didn't respond, please ask again i wouldn't take that as rude it's just that i am um just i'm just doing other things right now so and i do like to connect and i do like to respond in there i like to keep that as one thing i do enjoy because i know a lot of people don't but i think that's an important part and just right now i'm taking a different instead of not posting i'm just not doing comments so <laughs> i feel like i should do a video versus you know answering comments and things so i'm hopeful that's good with you guys so i'm done i've got my vacuums going inside and um I'm finished. It's early. It's still, it's going to be a nice day today. The, this is what it looks like. Let me show you. We're living in the fog mountain here. So it's kind of foggy. So I think what I'm going to do is just um, get everybody moving around here and get our stuff done and then head out the door so we can go to the park and go spend some time with a wonderful little boy and, um, and celebrate birthdays. So I think that's going to be our goal today and I don't really have a whole lot more. So I am, I'm good with that. That's, that's a good day. So tomorrow I'm like looking in the refrigerator. I'm like, I got to clean those berries. Hopefully they don't go bad. And, but you know what? 
they're there. They'll be okay. Even if I have to throw away a couple because they got yucky, that's okay. Tomorrow we'll get to those. So that's that's what you got to do today. If it's not looking like you want to get everything done or you just know you can't, you know what? Tomorrow's a new day. So I thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your continued support. And um, you have a fantastic, I'm talking fantastic rest of your day. And I will see you guys again tomorrow with another video. We're going to be, yeah. Uh, cleaning all that produce. I know we are getting stuff a little prepped up, make some dinner. Dinner is important. It's going to be a good day. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.